This is a pink line train to 54 and survey. Vivir cada día como si fuese el primero, así es mi último día, como así sería el primero. Ser feliz para mí es este momento, abrir mi ventana, sentir el viento, perder el aliento, perder el pulso, sentir el pulso de las cosas según el impulso, su verdadero transcurso, natural, mi ser, mi comer, mi vida, llegar hasta el cuesco, empezar de nuevo, mi vida. Diferente, sentarse en el parque y comer chocolate, sentir que por dentro hay un corazón fuerte que late. Para mí, ser feliz es esto: estar conversando contigo en medio del universo, tirarnos en el pasto, imaginar figuras, algodones de nubes, reírme de todas las locuras, la sonrisa ancha y el pecho abierto, sabiendo que nos podemos ir, todo es tan incierto. Por eso, vivir el día como si fuese el último, el miedo lo fumo, lo absorbo, lo tumbo. So, uh, I live here all my life, so I do what I love. It, it's the perfect. Are you anyone? Yes, I am. And the hat is tilted and represent your, your culture. It's, it's basically uh, Hispanic, even though now within the past few years it's, uh, it's getting more diverse. I'm the pastor of St. Adelbert's Church. Um, what are the people here like in Hilton? Uh, if you're talking about population, the population is probably 85% Spanish speaking or Spanish descent. Uh, maybe 5% Polish and then there's a 10% uh, I suppose would be uh, English speaking or non-Hispanic if you want. It originally, when it was founded in 1874, it was Polish, and as time went on, uh, the Spanish community has moved in. As uh, in terms of changing the neighborhood, and both cultures are very strong religiously. If you're uh, you go around the church, you notice that all the uh, religious or most of the religious windows in the church are in Polish, but there is the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. There is also Spanish in the front of the church on one side. There's also <clears throat> the statue of Saint Juan, Saint Juan Diego, as well as an altar for the Day of the Dead. And so, you know, both countries or both kind of origins of our parish uh, are very uh, strongly religious and very strongly Catholic. We're here at Saint Adelbert Church on 17th Street. Uh, it's a Catholic church in Pilsen. Pilsen is a really diverse community of mostly Mexican descent, but recently more people from the city have been moving here, which is just making it a really cool and ethnic place to live. Well, basically, you know, the the different cultures, not all, yeah, it's predominantly Latino, Hispanic, whatever, but just you have people from all over, not only from Mexico, but like Central America, South America, and they all, uh, this, this was like the, uh, like with the immigration, immigrants, you know, this is where they landed because people just came here. It used to be Czechoslovakian, uh, Lithuanians, Polish people, and so forth. Obviously, they, you know, Mostly it was an immigrant and um, just the different cultures that are here and you know, are living and you know it formed a big community and it stretched out and you know people had their kids here and they sent them to school here and so forth. We tend to pathologize 
poor or under middle class communities around the nation. This is a perfect example of one that works together, right? The yeah. community participates together, they take care of each other, they use each other's businesses. And, you know, that's really beautiful to see, I think, in this community. And not all of them are like from one region of Mexico, like you'll have uh -huh. like different styles of making one type of, like a tamale, for example, a tamal. You know, you have one style from the south, one style from the north, one style from the east or the west. So you have all these different people from all over Mexico or other places that have their own style of making one particular dish, mm -hmm. like a tamal, for example. You know? So do you still live in Tilsen or? No, I don't live in Tilsen. Do you have kids? Well, yes, yeah. I have children. I have so kids. do you bring them back here and? We're here uh, four <laughs> times a week. Yeah. That's good. And, uh, he's well, I worked here as a seminarian back in 1967 when the community was just changing into a Spanish-speaking community, and then I came back as pastor in the year 2000. Uh, changes I've seen are the community is much more established. It's uh, still not a uh, what I would call a rich community, but it, uh, it does uh, have a little bit more economic stability. Uh, people, families have been here for a long time, both Polish and Spanish people. Um, it's a little bit safer than it used to be way back in the 60s, even though it still has its uh, moments, its problems, but uh, I also, like I see, I, I, people are into their second and sometimes third generations of being in, in Pilsen. The one thing about Pilsen is that it's, uh, it's very much in the sense of the Chicago history being a neighborhood. Uh, a neighborhood means that people know each other, people uh, have uh, seen each other grow up, people have gone through good times and bad with each other. It's not just a place where people kind of uh, hang out. No, there's an actual, there are all kinds of relationships. You see it when you see it when, when you do funerals. Uh, if it's a Polish person, a lot of times the neighbors who are Spanish are at the funeral mass and vice versa. There's a spirit of people knowing one another and uh, working together. That's a, it's a big change. Well, I don't know what a big change, but it's different than what it was in 1967. Hola. 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 Sugar skulls are the coolest thing in yeah, the world. They are. Were you here for the day of the dead Can yes. I add one piece? It was so cool. They were like, be like, they were like watching them. <laughs> 